I'm going to try and hold note cards, beer, microphone all at the same time. My name is Jeff Kazmer, a company called Jumpstart Lab. Uh, thank you. So I start with Bill Clinton, probably unexpected. Uh, 1992. Oh my God, Bill Clinton, 92, James Carville, George, oh, come on. <sighs> it's unfair. So people ask me in my job, why should I use Ruby? Uh, and I tell them, there are lots of reasons not to use Ruby. We have a big labor shortage. If you are a startup, uh, this is a big problem for you. But there are some things that we do have. Uh, no one else has our people. And with very few exceptions, people that come into this community, develop some expertise, they stay here. They travel to JavaScript, they, you know, weekend with Erlang, but Ruby stays home. There's something special here. There's something special about why we have 300 people the night before the conference starts. What we're doing is fun. Oh, shit, it's fast. <laughs> Social coding, right? So. When you apply for a Ruby job, they don't even ask about what you can do. They ask about what you can give away. We only care about what you do to the community, what you bring to the community. We even have social thought. Uh, you know, a lot of languages, they have one conference over the course of the year. We have a mailing list whose sole purpose is to try and keep conferences from overlapping. There are so many, you can barely find a free weekend. It all comes back to these people. We attract and keep some of the best talent in this entire industry. And they actually get along. Like some of you, I, I actually like. Uh, <laughs> so then it comes back to why Ruby, and it's the community, stupid. It's not about the language. It's not about the libraries. It's not about the tools. It's about the community. So small communities, you know, this used to be a small community. Um, I've been around for a few years now, seen it, seen it grow. Small communities self-organize. If you've worked at a startup, you have like six, eight people, and it's fucking awesome. Everyone like, oh, we hang out, and we work, and da 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 And then it starts growing, and somewhere, I think it's around 27 people is when you cross the threshold of all of a sudden like, oh, I don't really know everybody. And community gets a lot more complicated. As a community scales, it needs to be built. It doesn't just grow on its own. I think we see that as a theme through a lot of these talks tonight, talking about community. It's about people working for a greater good. There is a popular phrase in our community, uh, do epic shit. And I say, fuck that, start epic shit. Because doing shit is about you. And it doesn't all have to be about you all the time. Okay? When you start something, it's about we. The way you know you started something is that it can survive after you leave. <sighs> You're just not that important. So forests and flowers. If you look at a forest, you see the leaves. You see the flowers. They're beautiful, and they're temporary. Don't be a temporary flower. Okay? Instead, be the branches. Be the support network under the community that allows other people to do amazing things. You know, uh, Elise and Greg talking about this alumni network that's now having secondary benefits of, of teaching other people. It's not about Greg being a beautiful flower, although he is. It's about <laughs> building up that community. Build forests of people, okay? As a community organizer, uh, it's not an easy job. Don't wait for things to happen, just make them happen. Expertise is an illusion. A lot of people say like, oh, I don't know enough Ruby to like start a user group. You probably know the most Ruby on your block. There might be somebody else on that block that wants to learn something and you could teach it to them. Okay. With that scope, on some scope, you are valuable. <laughs> I won't promise it here, but it's true, it's true, it's true. So once you start a community, it has momentum. And what you'll see is that it just keeps going. It keeps growing. It doesn't always, though. Being a community organizer is not always fun. Um, you don't win through big actions. You win through a series of small ones. It's the organizing the meetups. It's the sending the emails, posting the tweets. That's how you build community. Just be an acorn. When an acorn falls from a tree, it doesn't dream of being a forest. It just tries to find dirt, a little water, 
turn into the start of a tree, and see what happens. So if this community has been good to you, and it's been good to me, uh, if it's supported your work, provided you code, helped you make money, then I would say that we're at a pretty critical juncture here as we start to grow. And we need, as individuals, to get serious and help build this community. Thanks.